Hello folks, welcome back to our 10,000 cow challenge. So last time we had been the theme frenzy of where we build all of our hay from field 29 down there. All of our straw from all of our crops that we harvested and we've just got enough feed and straw for the cows. However, I ain't gonna last long so we need to start thinking about where to go from here. So my thinking is to we can do obviously more grass fields than that. We'll be replanting some grass fields than that, maybe in 16 and 25, along with our main farm, and then field 5, 3, and 6. There'll be grain fields, of course, field 5 at the moment. That is our cornfield. That is ready to chaff that, so I want to quit profits, I do, because yeah, we're at 763 grand. We'll get about 25 grand from our Surrey. And yeah, this is what we've been producing in what? Last month or so at most? I should know even now, like, month and a about half a month or so. Half a month, three quarters of a month. So, yes, yeah, having a thousand cows can get you a lot of Surrey. So, yeah, of course, I can use this for other productions, use it for the PGA and that. But I think for now. I'm going to take us to the Surrey Yards at the shop, get a quick buck, and then whilst we're over there, we'll return this tray on that. Because actually, how much milk do we have? Oh, breaks, breaks, breaks. How much milk do we have at the moment? 11,000 litres, 13. Yeah, I know they did. Ooh, no, nope, not this way. Yeah, I know the numbers are a bit vague now, and they didn't really add up. So, yeah, I'm thinking 11,000 litres of milk, and. Actually, I'm looking at the prices and that. How much is milk worth at the moment? Because if it's getting up there at the moment, then I'm thinking, sure, let's sell the milk. So, half a cup of milk, and that best time to sell is in October, and that. So, 1373. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll go wait, wait another month from that. So, Aussie Army milk is from a horror dairy cows and that so and ones are actually adults because we again look at our animals and that Can't, you do get milk from calves and that so or from beef and that so ignore those but yeah I think in about 30,000 years we've got at the moment which ain't too bad to be honest however I'm thinking of storing the milk for now because we can get more money from making cheese and that. Because that's one thing, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be integrating productions into this and all that. But yeah, let's go and sell the Surrey, get this returned, and then purchase a, or at least a forest harvester. So right, here we go, we're at the shop and that. And yeah, again, just remembering where the Surrey yard is. It's around the back of here, so behind the recycling center and that. Yeah, ignore the minor frame drops and that. To be honest with you, I haven't had like, too many problems with game crashes or just general frame rate issues and that, which is a good sign and that. Last thing I want to deal with is the flurry of game crashes, so forest dealer there to the right. And yeah, also yeah, I forgot to mention we've done the contract work, so. One, why that why is that bell not being sold? But yeah, we've done the contracts and that, so we've got about go to our contracts. I'll put a screenshot up now. So yeah, we've done these contracts and we've got 33 grand for those size bells, so overall not too bad. But yeah, I'm wondering why. That's in the way that is now, but we'll deal back in a sec. Yeah, we've got one more bell, right? Ah, no, that's fermenting, that's why. Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, I'm thinking we'll get the chaff on that, use our production we've got on the main farm, get that converted into silage, and then silage, I'm thinking, put some of it into the BGA, and the rest of it, to be honest, we're just going to sell, so. Let's sell to Surrey. So alright, a bit more than expected. So yeah, that is 20 grand, so not too bad, not too shabby. 
But yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, should we go and return this, or do we just look at these in that, because... Actually, well, I think we'll keep it for now. Now, we'll keep out the shop and that, so... But yeah, that spot there where you get that sudden frame drop, has always been an issue with the map, so... Nothing new there. Also, we did purchase a second-hand trailer for 15 grand. That holds 44,000 years of product. Also, yeah, we've, got, we've still got our plow over here, so... That's going to need to deal with. But yeah, so let's go head to the store and get our forage harvester. So, alright, there we go. Go on and lease this. So, yeah, we've got the new Holland Forge Cruiser. Got a decent header in that. A PTO. Well, not a PTO, a hey, Dolly in that. With the X52. So, that's got about 100,000 capacity. I wish I'm using that over what we currently own in that. Because this has better traction improvement, especially with those tracks and that. So, even though we're going to be dealing with that infamous slope going up from. 26 to 32 up to like field 16 and that, that little section down there. Yeah, I do want something that's got a bit more better hand than that, so... But yeah, the lorry will go and transport this once we're filled, so... That's what we want, is to turn that on, so we get silage and methane. The methane then we can sell in that. Or use the methane for, you know, making herbicide and fertilizer and that. Instead, what I'm thinking of doing is turn it off, make some digesting that. Yeah, to be fair, it ain't gonna be much in that, but you know what? I do not mind that so. So we'll make sure we've got what we need, so silage. There we go, so we set that to distribute in. So I'm gonna unfold this. Open the cover, and yeah, we got this massive plot of land here to do. So it's gonna take us some time now, maybe what an hour or two at the very least. But yeah, it helps if you unfold the pipe first of all. Yeah, we're doing this about 10 miles an hour or so, so decent performance in that. And yeah, that is perfect for us. So Oh yeah, we should be getting a lot of chaff from this, so... But yeah, again, that's all the point is, really, keep the productions going. But also, sliding that, paying the leftover in that. Might not be selling that, Just keep doing the hay that for the first year and that for the cows. Just yeah, I'm thinking, if we can expand the farm that to get, you know, fields 13, 30, I really like soft fields 1, 17, 18, and 19. That is a lot of money we need because if I stop that a sec, so for these fields here, we're gonna need 2.3 mil. Along with that, 3.6, 4.6, uh, 5.6, 5.4, 5.35 mil. And if I really want that, that is 6.45, over 6.5 million pounds we need, so... Yeah, that's going to be a bit of an ask, but especially on normal economy, we're not doing this on the easy in that. But yeah, normal economy is still pretty hard to be fair in that. Especially when compared to FS19 in that. But yeah, so today as a reward this on the 21st of June, apparently there are some leaks now of the collector's edition for Farm Simulator 25. Obviously Giants announced that they're going to be premiering a video on the 25th, so that's it's on Tuesday, which is about the future of Farm Sim, and yes, I am excited, and yeah, as disclosure, I am a content creator, obviously. I'm a member of the Giants Party program, so obviously things like upcoming releases and announcements, usually as us Giants partners, we'll do something ahead of time in that. But as we're recording this at the moment, end of the weekend, I doubt we're going to hear anything over the weekend in that. But 
at the moment there is nothing being announced. There's nothing planned in that by joints and that one. I say that of course there's something planned in that, but there's nothing being made official as of yet, if you know what I mean. In terms of the next game that or whatever it's gonna be, new DLC. Plus yeah, it two things like the collector's edition that so like the beacons and that like you got with FS22 now if you've got the collector's edition and that along with the year one season pass so I think it said the what I knew is first of all was the fourth quarter of 2025 where it showed a picture of a map and it looked like a British map British map it did so it got me the vibes of like the late district to be honest, and if that is remotely correct, I am, oh well, yeah, to be honest, I'll be glad because I don't think FS has had a base game or giant actual map that like, is British map, it's all been European, German, American, all that, and we're already filled, so. You know I said I was going to do this realistic-ish? Hmm. Yeah, about that, because this is going to take forever otherwise. Ah, uh, we need to, not say speed things up, but... Oops. Why are they being straight? It's alright, yeah, gone slightly different than that, so that's going to have a slightly bigger capacity, I'd say, at, at the very least now. But yeah, as I was saying, that, the fourth quarter one, it looked like a British map and that, and yeah. If that's the case then, that would be absolutely amazing because, yeah, I haven't seen the giant space game kind of map of that as British. It's all been, yeah, as I already mentioned just now, American, European, German, French and that, Swiss or French, whatever, but uh, Swiss and French, Swiss, Swiss Alps and French Alps, pretty much the same thing more or less, aren't they? So, unfold the pipe. I said, unfold the pipe. But yeah, that'd be nice to see, and. Alright, fair enough. That is cracking on. But yeah, other things was like uh, improve, like, I think the third for quarter one was stars aligned in that and showed a tractor wheel in that into the ground, so maybe as part of the year one. Again, would it make sense to be part of a DLC in that, but something to do with mud and that, like all terrain now, like realistic mud physics now. And that's gonna be a thing as well. Like with FS25, it has to be current gen only. I'll be upgrading to the PS5 very soon. I was gonna say hopefully in the next week or two, but most likely at the latest it's gonna be end of July. Just because I've got some bills and that and to really get ahead of now with my first paycheck and that. But yeah, it has to be current, has to be current gen only that, especially by the time the FS25 comes out, which I am thinking is going to be sometime around November, maybe November 25th, I'm not sure, hopefully it's early November and that, but at the end of the day, it comes when it comes and that. But yeah, other ones were like, uh, the, prepare for the reason now, I can't remember what the first one was, but obviously all photos at the moment have been obviously widely deleted around, especially on the Discord side of things, because at the end of the day, even though, the, yeah, obviously if I was under NDA by Giant Snap, which everyone who's part of the Giant Party program, we do get information ahead of time and that, sometimes. But yeah, there is a certain NDA in that, of where we can't publish a video about topic X until a certain date and time. So yeah, obviously, yeah, I've say I've got nothing, got nothing to tell. Of course, I could be under NDA now, but I'll be really honest here. I'm saying, as of recording this on the 21st of June, and it's just got 11 p.m. here. There is nothing, nothing to be announced by Giants yet, officially in that. Maybe unofficially, I don't know, but cheering up, I don't know what's going on at the moment. But yeah, at the end of the day. I am optimistic. Three years in the game cycles and that. Yeah, I know, obviously with FS9 to FS2 was because of COVID and that. And other things like uh, chip shortages and that. But yeah, it made sense at that time. Of course it did. I think that's, in a way, it's helped the franchise itself. 
people say that? Oh, yeah, there's going to be a bit of a hot topic in that with comes to new productions and that with the game and that. By the end of the day, it's part of the game, especially with FS19. Everyone was requested for production chains. We got production chains in FS22, and now everyone's saying there's too many productions that's come pads in there and that. But at the end of the day, you can't please everyone, especially if you're on Facebook and that. Yeah, I'm on Facebook and that. Occasionally, and that. A lot of it's for personal stuff and that. But yeah, the toxicity and that, and just the whiteness and bitchiness of it. Just everything in general, not just from any game you think of. F124 currently, we'll be playing on that soon if I get the PS5. We'll be definitely getting that game now because I'm yeah, a huge F1 fan of that. I do love the F1 games, so I will be doing some videos on it, maybe. How will fit a career mode video around my schedule at the moment? I don't know. Because they do take a while, a bit more effort now to record that and edit. But yeah, getting sidetracked here, so. See, we're at 1% at the moment, so see, we've got a, a decently large trailer, to say the least. And that we're at over 140,000 years, or approaching 140,000 years. Okay, we can't redo really turn circles with this, fair enough. But yeah, let's get cracking on this. And maybe we should get two of these. So yeah, that's going to be with the worker. I will go and at least a another one of these, so which one was it? We use these in, so this one. Not with the head or that, so yeah. Let's get tag team in there because yeah, I think two is better than one, obviously of course. But yeah, let's get this done and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. Origin and yeah, that was a worthy haul we had. So that was about two million years of chaff we had. So 
unfortunately our agricultural process in town only holds about 900,000 litres, so what I've got to do is spend 3 grand on a second one. I'm not going to put Sir in here, but if we have a little look, if I can find the true freight just over here. So yeah, if we go all the way up here, have a look, so yeah, we're processing the chaff now, and yeah, again, we look at this production at, so 2,400 cycles per month, 100 to 100 with a little bit of methane, so that is 240,000 euros a month. So with two of those, 480,000 euros, so that's going to last us over the winter, which is pretty good, I say, because at the moment, silage we are distributing, we do have some methane we can sell. Also, we produce some sugar beet. I'm going to set that to distributing because I'm going to have this going as well. So, we've got the BJ here. So, got a little bit of surrey here. So, 4,000 euros, about 7,000 euros of manure. Now, that should be being transferred over now. Should be cut, should I say. But we're going to be looking very, very good because, yeah, we own the BJ and that. So, let's make use of it because we're going to need the money. Unfortunately, that soybean fill is going to be raining in October and we don't have any reclusive funds for it, so looks like we may need to go to the bank and that, ask for a, I'll well, say a short term loan now, but to be honest, it may last about 12 months. But yeah, 12 months, 12 months though for a farm is still technically short term, but yeah, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Now for the manure. So there we go, we've got the manure and we have a little look. Yep, sugar beet cut is being transferred over already, so that is looking good. And to be honest, I'll have a look at because we should have had some more sent over, like yeah. So why is that not transferring all over and that? I am not sure. But yeah, everything just seems a little bit slow now at the moment. Again, I'm not sure if I've got too many productions on the go in that. So, I think we can put the manure in here. There we go. So yeah, 8,000 a year, so this is me from our dairy cows and that. Again, we should be getting more than that, but... To be honest, I don't know at the moment. And with the whole fee situation... One thing is, with all our fields, we're going to get... So, all the fields, straight line, up to field 5. We're going to be putting grass in. Because, yeah, if we put grass in now, that's going to be ready to mow in November. And then, yeah, for next year now, we can put spring barley in or spring wheat. Again, just remind myself of our crop calendar and that. So, yeah, wheat, barley, or oats that can be planted in March. Oh, yeah, we may be pushing the harvest window to September and that. But I think we've got enough straw for now for our cows and that. That's going to be one of the things I need to do is do some math on that. I know. Because I want to figure out how much are the adult cows are using and how much the calves are using. Because, yeah, we need to figure out exactly how much we need. Because that's the thing I want to do is produce, you know, too much grass on that. I know I say too much grass is not going to be a problem, but remember, I think once we get to that 10,000 limit, it's going to be a about, I think, what was the math in that? Over the course of your adult cows and that, for 10,000 cows, it's about 12 million litres a month. So, we've got a tenth for that, so about a million litres a month. But, of course, most of our cows at that moment are calves and that. So, I think for our Holstein cows, so, same for 1,600. So, let's see how much they're actually using. We're doing 3D months, so whatever they're using, we need to times that by 24, then by 3. To figure out how much they are consumed, so 71,603 litres. So 71,603 litres. So yeah, just under a thousand litres an hour they're using. So doing some quick math. So at the moment they're using 915 litres an hour. So times that by 24 hours for a day. I said if we're doing 3D months, sums that by three. And that is 65,000 litres of food they're using a month. So over the course of a year, for 250 cows, that is 700,000 litres, so... Yeah. Okay, not as bad as that, but definitely heading October, we're going to need some TMR, so... 
again. If we go to the store and that, these cheap TMRs and that, so all the way over here and that, so 5,000 for a thousand a year, so just for a year's worth of cow feed at the moment, 12 months old, so 790,000 a year, so you're going to require. Divide that by 5,000, so that is £158,000 off TMR they're going to need for a year. Ouch. I'm saying that ouch, but again, for a calf's and that, so it's going to be a, a bit less than that, so... I'll say overall, about half a mil is going to cost us in feed if we buy it in. But of course, for your calf's and that, it's perfectly fine to feed them hay nat. As soon as they hit that 12 month mark, then yeah, you do need to use TMR to get the most out of what you're getting. So, things like your slurry, your milk and all that, so... But yeah, we'll work on all that. Also, whilst we're over here, Nat, we need to start prepping all the fields, Nat, so we're going to need to put some fertilizer down, because what I want to do is to pre fertilize application, then we'll cultivate and drill. That's going to be all, all in the next episode, however, because our drill ain't a direct drill, I want to look for something that's got a direct drill, so... Maybe some of the Kinsey stuff now, like the 12 meter one there. I think that's actually a bit better for us because our 80 meter, you know, planter and that is good and that took him wrong. Absolutely beautiful to have, but for, you know, a British farm on a British map and that does have some issues with the gates and that. Again, off camera and that, it's not a problem, but for like the whole immersion of aspects of it. Yeah, that's going to be a whole another thing. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Because, yeah, how much can we sell our planter for? Because, again, with a lot of this, I'm thinking just leasing it. So, like seven grand is worth at the moment. We'll get some more money out of that when we repair it at and sell it at the store rather than in the shop tab there. So, maybe about 110 grand we can get for that. And from there. Look at cedars and that. Not too many options for us, so. So, I deal with something at least around the sort of 9, 12 meter mark, so. Something like these, like these would do perfectly fine for us. 12 meters, 9 meters respectively. But yeah, I think, you know what? We're going to be doing it in the next episode, so. I'm happy to lease this now, so. Do have options in that, because also I did. Enable some our other stuff, so all the momentum packs and that. So again, we're looking at these twelve meters. So, but yeah, thirteen grand and a half, a five grand an hour. Compare that to the McKinsey one. So, I say McKinsey is Kinsey, not McKinsey. So, twelve meter or eighteen point two meters for a hundred grand difference. Three thousand seven hundred two an hour or eight thousand eight hundred. Yeah, per hour, 3,600 versus half that. So, you know what? I think I'm going to go with that. I think, yeah, let's try the whole mulching and rolling. Yeah, you know what? Let's stick with our new Holland. Actually, no. We'll try to use our new Holland less than that. So, John Deere, EU spec and that beacons. Sure. Capacity standard on that because again, this is all realistic ish. And there we go, that, <laughs> that does not look too bad at all. But yeah, so we're not going to be starting to drill in in September 2, most likely September 3. But yeah, also do need to make sure we throw us that grass field because that's going to be ready soon. In when I say soon, I mean in October is going to be ready. So, we've got that to do, we've got this to do, and that. And also, yeah, we need to convert our field by next to the farm and that. That needs to be created field and that. But yeah, I think if we do, you know, a massive hole of grass here. We get pest and bell there, I forgot about that. We're going to grab you. So I think what we can do is when we start cutting the grass in November and that. So about two episodes of time this will be. 
think if we start doing one field at a time, then we can figure out how much basically hay we're getting. Because remember, 900,000 litres is what we got from field 29. So I'm thinking if we say, for example, 29 and 16, maybe 25 nat at push nat. I'll say if we all do that as hay, that's going to be more than enough. Because also remember, I think we will be bringing some cows into next year, so we will have a bit of an extra hole in that. Because, yeah, I don't mind stockpiling a lot, a lot of this stuff, I don't mind stockpiling, so. Second so day is all going to be used now, especially if we want to get TMR production underway. Again, do we buy TMR or do we produce it ourselves? But yeah, again, I need to do some research into that. But, anyways. That's going to be a lot to think about in that. And to be honest, it's going to be a bit of a short episode in that. But, at the end of the day, we're going to be frozen the fields in that. So, this is going to take us a couple of hours. So, yeah, start off next episode with. I think, yeah, start plowing in that. Plowing and drilling. So, heading to the next episode, we can also sell. Sell our planter. I think the disc arrow we are borrowing. I forget contracts and that. Speaking of which, any contracts? Nope. But yeah, contract work and that. It's for like cultivating that, whatever. Or even drilling that. I think, to be honest, we'll just borrow the equipment. Unless we head into our planting season next year, so March through to May. I don't mind, again, releasing something in that period of time. Because, yeah, that makes sense. Like, we're going to have a lot of contracts popping up, I think, in next year and that. But yeah, anyways, as I mentioned, that's where I leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider. But for you to do, hope you're going to say. But for now, it's me, Farmer, Envoy Stream. And I'll see you all uh, very soon.